didn't seem like that had much effect. Did no, it? Like, all all three one one. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. guys. <laughs> like it's probably not the first time you've heard that. <laughs> all right, let's start with this. A warning. Okay. As you may remember, Dick, from Castaway. Oh, remember oh, this? I do. I you do. remember I this? Remember that? Look, yeah. you guys, we're talking about increased moisture coming in. And by the way. <laughs> For, you know, for a guy who's been on an island for a while, you look pretty yeah, good. Well, and happy, you know, too. The hair yeah. was a little rough. But. Well, it wasn't bad. All right, now we have a long way and a lot of distance to make up here. In 2011, this is how far behind we are. Farmington, about three quarters of an inch. Albuquerque, we're three inches below average already. Roswell, over four inches. When you combine that with what we usually get during the monsoon flow, we usually get about three inches in Farmington. Albuquerque, four inches, six inches down in Roswell. What kind of difference do we have to make up just to get back to average? Almost four inches in Farmington, over seven inches in Albuquerque, and almost 11 inches in Roswell. We're probably not going to make all that up. It's not impossible. In Albuquerque in 2006, we did this during the monsoons, got about nine inches, but still, there's a long way to go, and even a good summer may not quite get it done for us. 89 in the metro, winds out of the south at eight miles an hour, temperatures across the north, 70s and 80s down to the south. Same sort of deal, finally starting to cool down a bit, but still a little ways to go throughout the night tonight. Most of the the action continues across our north where we've got a lot, or to our north, where we've got a lot of moisture locked in over Colorado, a lot of rain there, a couple showers over northwestern sections of the state. Not a lot to get excited about yet, but notice how we don't have any cloud cover here across the southeast quadrant, really the southeast half of the state. With high pressure locked in there, it's not allowing a lot of storm formation, but that's what starts to change here over the next couple of days. For tomorrow, a spot storm or two remain possible here in the metro, but a scattered shower a little better shot over the northern mountains and out to the west. But the real change happens as high pressure, which has been over us, shifts farther to our east over the weekend, and that starts to bring in the monsoon flow pattern, and we'll start to see a better chance of showers, especially Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday as well. So what is wrong with a slow flow? Well, as Kramer can attest to, we do have issues, and we did have them today over Raton. Slow-moving thunderstorms, when you don't have a lot of upper-level winds to push the thunderstorms, they move very slowly over burn areas, and that's what happened today around the track fire. Now, these storms, while they dump much-needed moisture, they also can flood the canyons and, of course, those burn scar areas. That's something we need to watch. And you know what? Finally, we are going neutral. La Nina officially over. The Equatorial Pacific has gone from cold to neutral. That is good news. And the road to recovery, well, will be probably about two or threefold, it looks like at this point. We are going to need a whole lot of moisture. And we're hoping for the summer monsoon season to help with that. More storms likely in the fall and winter. And by the way, 18 of 23 weather models keep us neutral through the winter. 80s and 90s across the four corners, increasing chances of showers coming up for Sunday and into Monday. Down to the south and west, temperatures here, 90s to triple digits. A spot storm possible. Look for more steady rains as a possibility Sunday and Monday as well. Over to the southeast, you guys are going to be broiler hot once again for tomorrow. Probably not a great chance of showers until we get to about Tuesday of next week. North and east temperatures here tomorrow, 80s and 90s, even triple digits around Tucumcari. Some spot storms possible. Better chances coming up Sunday and Monday as well. Northern mountains, some scattered showers for tomorrow. Get ready for more rain over the weekend, especially into around Monday too, where we could see some increasing showers as well. 87 Cedar Crest, 93 in Edgewood, and finally right here in the metro. Eh, spot storm possible tomorrow. If you're going to pin your hopes on something, pin them on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Man, that La Nina kid was a brat. Oh, stuck around forever. Out of here. Yeah. Sports is coming up next.